Hi, my name is Patrick, and I know nothing about car care. Hello and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Detailing 101. In today's episode, we are going to be taking on the beast that is cleaning my BMW E36. Now, just for your knowledge, I haven't cleaned this car in about three months, so it is absolutely minging. I physically couldn't take the dirt off with a slight wipe. I had to really press. My good trusty Guru Dale here <laughs> is gonna help me along the way and give you guys and me a lesson in how to really clean your car. Yeah. Obviously, I don't think yours is gonna be this dirty. This is disgraceful. What we're really covering on here is the basics. And again, if you are well into your detailing and you know the basics of car care, maybe it's not the video for you. But if you are new to this, you're new to Meguiar's, you're new to our process and products, this can be a great introduction to our different shampoos, different processes, and little things like two bucket method and grit guards. Absolutely, so without further ado, let's crack on. Let's introduce the shampoos, different kind of mitts, two bucket method, like Dale just said, let's crack on. So, the shampoos that we currently have at Meguiar's mm -hmm. follows. First one is our gold class shampoo. Now this contains conditioners that feed the gloss into the paint, but also they sheet off the car. So when it comes to rinsing the car off, that water's gonna go straight off, so it makes drying time really nice and quick. Lovely. Then the next one is her, next, NXT. Get it? Yep, so, yeah, yeah. Yep. So we've got the NXT car wash. Now this is fantastic for hard water areas. So this contains softeners that break down those kind of white residue particles you'll get from cleaning the car in the hard water. So if you live in a hard water area, this is the shampoo for you. Should we do wash and wax or should we do wash? Let's do wash and wax. Let's do wash and wax. So this is our, this is our only wash and wax. So this is gonna put a layer of, of wax on the car. Now there's no kind of sediment in there. You can't see it separated because it's dispersed into the shampoo. So you're gonna get that consistent wax protection yeah. from the car on its own on a single wash talking about two weeks worth of protection okay so it's not mega long but it's enough to really hit, probably enough time for you to wash your car again exactly that and all of our shampoos are ph neutral as well so they're nice and safe lovely and the one the final one that we're going to be using today in fact is a wash plus what yeah. is wash plus so this is our newest shampoo so this contains uh polishing agents micro polishing agents um so essentially it's giving the car a deeper scrub if your car needs a good renovation and you really want to kickstart fresh detail for it and a fresh start, this is a great product because what it's going to do is going to give it a deeper clean, but also kind of scrub any contaminants that may be sitting on the surface. So it will act as a kind of a clay. Okay. Um, on harder sur surfaces, it, it may need claying afterwards, but it's a great way to start. It's a deconstructed process, so we're going to show you later, but instead of, you can put it directly into the bucket, but to get the most out of it, you want to apply it directly to the mitt and then wash the pan off. Yeah, so we're going to give you a a real good guide about how to use this stuff, how to apply it, how best to get the best out of the product. I've said best about seven times. Right, without further ado, let's crack on with introducing you to the wash mitts. Because I'll go get them. You go get them. There's a couple of wash mitts that we can use. We do the microfiber wash mitt and the lamb's wool wash mitt. Now, me personally, I know absolutely nothing about either of them. <laughs> like, I don't know which one to use with my paint, which okay. one's best to use with other paint. So how do you differ between the two? Um, you'll notice that we don't have sponges in the Meguiar's kind of catalog. Myth um, so, are bad. So we don't like using sponges, solid because it's such a flat surface. Now, as you kind of wipe the surface with a sponge and it's that flat kind of contact with the paint, anything that gets in between the sponge and your paint is gonna get scraped along, um, scraped along and scratch it. Um, so using a deep pile wash mitt, such as our lamb's wool or our microfiber, is a much safer way of cleaning your car and reducing the chances of swirls and scratches. Now, we do have two wash mitts. We have the microfiber. Now, this one has got a good pile on it, but the, the big kind of, the big point of this is the longevity. Now this can be machine washed like your microfiber towels and drying towels, so you're gonna get way more use out of it. The lamb's wool is a deeper plusher pile and it also has the gauze on the back for kind of stubborn areas around the bottom of the bumpers. Um, this is plusher and it is softer on the paint, but because it's natural, you cannot machine wash this. You rinse it out and hang it uh, to dry like that. Right. Never machine wash them. Dry. So 
for me personally, I use this on wheels because I can machine wash it and I use that on my bodywork. Okay, so you use both. Mm -hmm. okay. um, but for yours, because it is so heavily dirty, yeah. um, heavily grimy, we're going to be using the microfiber. Perfect. Next very important tool when cleaning is a grit guard. So this sits in the bottom of your bucket, whether or not you have two buckets or a single bucket, we're going to talk about that when we're washing the car. Yep. Um, once you've washed the panel, go in with your wash mitt and rub it against the grit guard. And what's going to happen is this, these fins here will trap that dirt and grime and stop it swirling back up into the water. Right, so the, the point is that the water circulates around the bucket and therefore the dirt gets circulated. Yep, and it just gets trapped in these fins here. Now these will just sit nice and tight in our yellow bucket. Yeah. Um, if you've never used or never heard of the two bucket method before, you have a single bucket, both, you can have grit guards in both, but some people like to put a grit guard in their rinse bucket. Okay. Now you'll have a one bucket that just has water in it. Right. Nothing else. Okay. Then you have one bucket that has soapy water in. Right. Now once you've gone over a panel with the soapy water, you then clean the, the mitt in your rinse bucket with just the clear water in it. Okay. Clean it out, and then when you go back into your soapy water, it means you haven't got contaminated. Right, yeah. So you're not mixing You're not contaminating it, yeah. Water. So if you just use the one bucket, you're constantly making that water in your clean solution yeah. dirtier. Fine. So having a two bucket method is a great way of keeping your water nice and clean that's interacting with your paint. But the first thing we need to do is evaluate how dirty the surface is and whether we can use any extra products apart from the Wash Plus and the wash mitt and stuff like that to help clean the car. Dale, what would you suggest for stuff like maybe the sills which are really muddy? Exactly that. So just walking around the car and evaluating like we just said, um, you also want to choose the right product as well. So we can see down here that the side skirts and the kind of lower sections of the car are really dirty and grimy. Now to go straight in with your wash mitt is just going to kind of it's going to contaminate it way too much and you're going to get way too much it's dirt and grime in you and it's going to ruin it. So what we want to do is we want to try and help ourselves as much as possible. So I'm going to use the multi-purpose heavy duty cleaner. What I want to do is kind of just loosen up this dirt and grime that's on the lower end sections of the car. So this is a great cleaner for kind of inner arches, interiors, kind of lower sections of the car, engine bays. It's a great all-rounder really. Okay. But I find it really effective for removing dirt and grime that's pretty stubborn. And what it's just going to do, it's going to loosen it up. Dale and I are going to go around the car, clean all the dirty stuff off the bottom, jet wash the car down and we'll catch up with you when we're back with the Wash Plus. So, a golden rule when washing your car, Patrick. If you can't hold your hand on the panel for more than a few seconds, it's too hot, don't bother cleaning it. Right. Always make sure it's in cool conditions and in the shade if, if, if possible. I know we're in the UK and we get a lot of shade, yeah. so we're pretty lucky on that, but it, the temptation to do it on a gloriously sunny, hot day um, is just gonna dry the product way too quick. Fine, okay. So always do it in cool, dry conditions. It's freezing today, hence why we're both wearing jumpers and coats. But, right, so, pressure wash the car off, and we'll join back with you in a second. Heavy duty, so you can man. see, heavy duty cleaner is literally the best thing in the entire world. I can't actually believe that. That's just one product that we've used, Dale. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Like, look at all the dirt that was once here that is now gone. You can really see the purple actually coming out in the car, which is great. So what it is, it's a tough degreaser, so it's just removing all that kind of dirt, grime, um, all the kind of traffic film. Um, if you ever do use this on kind of paintwork, always be sure to wax the car afterwards because it may strip off a bit of wax. Um, but for a kind of dramatic kickstart to a detail like this is, it's the perfect product. So, on to the next one, mm. which is... Using wash, the Wash Plus. Wash Plus. Sorry, we... I was gonna, but that's okay, you go. Is it, you're okay. No, you go. You can do it. I've to do it now. Wash, wash Plus. plus. No, oh, okay. <laughs> On to the next stage. Yeah. That was cool. That was a little bit much for me. <laughs> hey, we <laughs> to the video. So, next step is going to be using the Wash Plus. So, we mentioned this earlier about it being a deeper scrub for the car. Now, because we've got off that kind of loose contaminants, so before we're washing the car, always hose away loose contaminants, whether that's with a pressured hose attachment or with a jet wash. It's always good to get that kind of dirt and grime off, just so you're not pushing it around with your wash mitt. You don't need to film that, do you? 
20 minutes later. 20 minutes later. Seven years later. Just quickly while that lorry is doing its thing. Yeah, so before we would um, just kind of address a little bit of a myth uh, people have about cleaning their car now. Back in the day, I'm sure we'd never own up to it, but I'm sure people have done it in the past. They've used washing up liquid on their car. <laughs> Which is a big no-no really. It's um, The best way of describing it is, you know how easily it takes hardened food off a plate? Now imagine if that hardened food is your wax protection, it's going to strip it right off. And it's just going to kind of leave the surface bare, so if your car's red or a lighter colour, you're going to get those UV damages um, way easier. Yeah. Um, you'll see faded paint. So the high salt um, in this, you definitely don't want to be using on your car. So resist all temptation to use washing up liquid. Don't use this. Don't use one. It's it's not a good thumbs up, it's a bad one. Safety precautions, Dale. Give us yeah, your watch. I'm not trusting you with my watch. Okay, great. On to Wash Plus. Let's do this thing. Cool. So we've already talked about it, having the micro-polishing agents. We talked about it being a bit of a deconstructed wash. In this bucket, we just have plain water and our grit guard. So this is sitting nice and tight at the bottom of the bucket. So that's going in there. We have our microfiber wash mitt. And we have our Wash Plus. Now in the bucket, we just have plain water. We've not put any shampoo in it or anything like that. Now the microfiber's wet. We're gonna get our Wash Plus, we give it a good shake, and we're just gonna put a ribbon of product on there. So we're not putting it directly onto the paint, and we're not also putting it in the bucket. You can put it in the bucket if you want, but if you wanna get the most out of this shampoo, then you wanna put it directly onto the wash mitt. We've got the panel nice and wet, and all we're gonna do is just give it a nice rub down. So the polishing agents are just kind of giving it a deeper wash and removing any of those contaminants that may be sitting on the surface of the paint, but it'll also remove light scuffs and scrapes. Okay. Um, any kind of deeper scratches and marks, you may need to compound, which we're gonna cover later. Yeah. Um, but on kind of smaller edges of bumpers, it will remove live scraps. Perfect. I'm gonna get my hands dirty because I wanna have a go at this. This really has been filthy and it's been three months of being filthy. So it'll be interesting to see how the wash mitt kind of keeps up with the, with the dirt and also how the wash, wash Plus makes a difference to the panel. Mm -hmm. Does it make any visual difference like straight away? Or it not? is going to slightly polish the surface, so you will see a glossy finish. Okay. But because of the polishing agents that are in this uh, solution, you will need to wax the car afterwards, which is great because we're doing every process um, with this car. Perfect. Right. So after each panel, Patrick, just lay over before we let you loose on the car. Let me loose. Always rinse the panel, wash it down, then rinse again, then move on. Perfect. Um, in between each panel, you're going to be using a grit guard and washing out your mitt. Lovely. So like Dale mentioned, just a small ribbon of product like that onto a wet panel, like so. Right, Mr. Dale, so. So the car's clean, you've cleaned the car. I've cleaned the car. You've cleaned the car. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just give it a final rinse off to remove any kind of loose soap or any residues or anything like that. But we're not gonna, we're gonna be using a jet wash, but we're not gonna be using full power. Okay. Now when it comes to hosing off the car, always use a steady stream of water. Because what happens is, if you use way too much um, power and water from the jet wash, um, or a pressured hose or anything like that, you're actually encouraging more water to sit on the surface. Okay. Now if you use a low pressure or just an open-ended hose, you'll find that the car, the, the water sheets off the car quicker. Okay. So, so we're just going to give it from there, just right? a little tip. So I'm just going to quickly mention now that in a separate video to this one, so the next video that we do, this will be with Tom, we're going to give you some little cheeky top tips about how to dry your car a bit quicker. In the next video, that's what we're going to see, but just for the moment, we're going to introduce you to the ultimate drying towel. Supreme the big, dry. fluffy, supreme towel that is drying. Look at my hair. Do you want to do it again? No, carry on. That was great.
So, as, as time and technology moves on, so does our products. Um, so we started out with your traditional chamois, which people know as the chamois leather. I call it a chamois. A chamois. Um, and then we moved on to our kind of first delve into a microfiber drying towel, which was the water magnet, which was the porous kind of um, waffle woven towel. And then as time moved on, we, we wanted something softer and way more absorbent for the car. I'm gonna show you a few different ways of using the towel, but before you do anything, A, give it a good old shake uh, when you get it, in case there's any kind of loose fibers or anything like that. Yep. B, always remove the tag. Always remove before flight, like that. Please that way it's not gonna be dragging flight. on the paintwork. Yeah, good job. Cool, so we're gonna have a go on the bonnet. My go-to is to get the towel and fold it several times. This way, my one drying towel has turned into about eight. Just gonna put it on the paint and just slowly drag it like this. Now, some people like to kind of put the towel nice and flat and pat it down and lift, or some people like to pat, put it down and drag. Really doesn't matter, it's, it's just personal preference. Now me, I like to fold it like this because every time I move to a new section, I unfold it, I've got a brand new giant towel. You can just keep keep going until it's really... Exactly. ...dried the whole, whole car. Yep. Nice, well, I'm gonna grab a second towel and uh, give you a hand. So I'm just going to quickly show you the car because I'm super chuffed at how it's come out. The wash plus did an insane job of kind of giving it a really deep scrub and the heavy duty multipurpose cleaner was insane to get that dirt and grime off. So that is going to conclude this video. Thank you again, Guru Dale, for helping me out. The car looks absolutely mega. The products that we used have done an insane job. Just a little quick recap of what product we used. The first one was Heavy Duty Multipurpose Cleaner. This was a wicked product, really helped out all the dirt and grime that was on the, the bottoms of the sills and all sorts like that. Next product was the Wash Plus. This did an insane job of really giving the paint a deep scrub, really actually reviving how it looked. We're yet to kind of really go into the detailing of the car, so this did a mega job of helping that along the way and gave the car a really nice shine as well. Final product that we used, the big fluffy Supreme drying towel. Really helped me with drying the car, made it really quick and easy. For all these products, if you want any more information about them, I'm going to leave some links down below. So click the links in the description to each of these products if you want to learn some more about them. So if you feel like you need a bit more information or you want to speak to one of us, um, probably not me because I don't know anything, but one of the guys, one of the team, Dale or Tom, then you can contact us directly through our website or you can DM us on Instagram or Facebook, anything like that. Like, share and subscribe to the Maguire's UK YouTube channel and I shall see you in the next video for the next episode on Detailing 101. I need another hand. Dale, can you... Um... No. Okay, great. Hi chickies. Hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Ha>. <laughs> no, I'll wait until you get back. I'm ready. I'm clean your lens. Have you cleaned your yeah, lens? It's done. So what we're doing? Are we, oh, oh, we're walking into it. No, I don't like it. Clear it of the car. <laughs> oh, it's gotta be great. <laughs>